After pushing our changes to our popularity filter branch, we merge to main. Delete the branch and wait for Tecton to detect the commit in main coming from the merge. Once Tecton detects the new commit, it starts the build pipeline. It will clone and compile sequentially. Then in parallel, it will launch the unit test, integration test and the generation of the tags for the image. When these three tasks have executed successfully, the build pack task kicks in and will create the image in a way that it will only need to update the layers that have changed. It also catches the layers for future builds. This speeds up the image creation. After the image is created, it will push it to an image registry, which in this case is Docker Hub. Also, it will tag the image with additional labels. The last task just updates the image ID of our app in the GitOps repository. We will check that the commit hash from our repository is the one that has been assigned to the image. We see that the ID is 897FF97. We tell Argo CD to refresh to check against changes in the repo and it detects that the image has been changed. We click to see the differences and we see that the new image tag has the commit ID 897FF97. Now we'll go to our app and make a request to the recommendations URL and copy it as a curl request. With that, we can go to the terminal and paste the request. We delete the headers that are not needed and test to see that it works. Now we will pass the request to print just the popularity of the tracks. Since we added two optional params to our API, the new version of our app is backwards compatible. So we can add them to the request and we won't get any errors if we hit the previous release. We see the request works. We'll execute it once every second. With that, we can start our Canary deployment by telling Argo CD to synchronize the cluster's current state with what we have in our GitOps repo. We use Argo Rollout's command line utility to check for the progress of the release. We see that a new Canary revision with replica set 5FF8D6 has started and it's initializing. Once the replica set is ready, Argo Rollouts will automatically start the release and we'll see at least one request with a max popularity of 70. There it is. We'll inspect the resource definitions for the canary. Here we have the definition of the rollout in use. We have set the traffic to be increased in 25% steps. We have set the rollout strategy to be a canary release, which will use two Kubernetes service definitions, song find canary and song find stable. Here we have the definitions of these services. Argo rollout needs the name of Istio's virtual service, AppMusic VS, and the name of the route to update, song find route. Going to the virtual service definitions, we see that for song find route, we have set two weighted routes for Argo rollouts to automatically handle the traffic split. These routes point to the Kubernetes services, Song Find Stable, which initially handles 100% of traffic, and Song Find Canary, which starts at zero. The graph in Kiali shows requests being delivered to both versions, and if we go to the virtual service current definition, we see that it has been updated. Here we see that most requests are being delivered to the stable version. We will take a look at the logs of each pod to also check that the one with 86D96 serves most of the requests. We will manually promote the rollout to the next step, which is 50%, and we see that we get more results with a 70 top. We also check that the weights have been updated to 50 in the resort definition. Checking the logs, we see the request being balanced equally, although not in a round robin fashion.
we promote the rollout to the next step, which will send 75% of the traffic to the canary. We refresh the virtual service to see this change reflected. And if we look at the logs, we should see at least one request being delivered to the stable version. There it is. We will complete the rollout and check that the revision 5F8D6 becomes the stable version. All requests are now applying our apps limit filter. I have configured the rollout to only keep three old versions, so version 10 was dropped. We check that the weights have been set to initial state since now the canary version has been promoted to stable. The old pod is removed from the graph since it no longer receives traffic and we no longer get logs printed in the old stable. Going back to Argo CD, we see that now it is in a reconciled state with no differences between the repo and the actual cluster.